first one of the day it's a nice slick could and it's have been nice a, and broke too could have been a sours extract but if you look this bar that we're on kind of has a little bit of stuff scattered all through it there's your nice plate bottom and here's a piece of what might have been the side of that thing yeah, right there very possible but there's stuff on these bars tons of stuff out here so we're hoping for that co-cuts today <laughs> we'll see about that we just said we're going to be battling the leaves it's the time of year now where it's starting to cool down but when the leaves fall down it kind of camouflages stuff at the same time so even though it's more enjoyable to be out here it is definitely harder to look so we're hoping that we can pull something good out for y'all just pick this up you can see it says coca-cola on the bottom that is a nice straight side coke you can see right there it says property of coca-cola and on this side it says birmingham birmingham so we're getting closer. I was hoping that it would at least set it right here because that would have been a good drinking glass, but you never know. That came out right from underneath that rock right there. And uh, as y'all can tell, the water is not here. <laughs> <laughs> the water is elsewhere. Yeah, the water is gone. So there's you a brick. It looks like a Graves brick, doesn't it? Yep. So right next to the Graves brick. We're hoping that this is going to actually help us today. I usually like to have a little bit of water. There's a bottle. I don't even see that one. Oh, vanilla flavor yeah a little green top <laughs> right next to a hundred year old bottle is a, a 50 year old bottle right but that's how it works but anyways we'll keep going see if we can find something else coke right here sadly it's broken at a weird angle so that's not a drinking glass and it's for birmingham too different variant than the other one we're just following the trail of glass there's gonna be something good before you know it you see that sitting right there by that rock that is so killer i could not make that up that thing is so covered with dirt i'm gonna see what it is and where it's from. Well, let's see. I feel the writing. That is a Richard and Thalheimer Hutch from Selma. That's probably 1890s, maybe 1900. That is killer. I'm gonna have to keep going up this creek and see what else comes out. This isn't a whole bottle, but it might say something. I think it is broken to the point where. We can't see anything on it, but sometimes that's the way it goes. So we're going to keep on going down this way and see what else comes out. And as I'm walking over the sandbar, I picked up a piece of a pepper sauce. Wasn't nothing interesting, but still kind of cool. All right. Looks like some more sandbars up here. Maybe something good will be in there. We'll see. Right there, you can see, I think that's, yeah, that's a piece of the one Brandon pulled just a second ago. So that's three straight side cokes in what, 15 minutes? Yeah. Where's so, the whole ones at, man? Where's the where's the coke hutches that go with these things? <laughs> Gonna go that way and see if we can find some. Guys, this creek is so killer. Do y'all see that right there? That is awesome. I have no idea what it is. I can tell it's early. I can see it's circle slug. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh, that is awesome. That is a freaking Dixie bottling works from Marion with no damage, dude. That is so killer. Holy crap. Holy cow. I'm going to keep going up this creek. There, I hope there's more good stuff. That might be the only good bottle of the day besides that hutch. But I'm going to keep going and we'll see. Got a little med you can see right there. This is screw top, I think. Yeah, screw top. Kind of newer. What's it say? Something lotion. Who knows? If you know, drop a comment. Gonna keep going down this way and see what else comes out. Ah, uh, Pat, Pat D. Jasper. From Jasper. That's huh. alright. Still a Jasper bottle. Hey, look, look at that one sitting right there. That is an old one. Ooh, that is an Maybe old it'll beer, say something. It? Top is sheared. That is old beer, though. What's it say? R. Yep, R. R and Company 14. Well, that's about 1890s. That's a good sign. That, uh, that makes me feel good about walking the rest of this. I saw this nice 1970s Mountain Dew right here and didn't think it'd be too great. But we'll see what else is on down this way. All right, I'm walking along up creek. Past some decent stuff, but it's been broken. I can see that it's gonna be whole. Let's see if we can get, I think I know what that is. <laughs> I think I know what that is. Another one. <laughs> wow. Dude, that is crazy. Another one with no damage. <laughs> this creek just keeps turning up great stuff. 
I guess it washes out of the bottom. I have no idea. But I'm going to keep going and see what else comes out. While I'm on the way over here to take a look at a bottle Brian's found, see found a snuff. Is a yeah. There's a tin can right there. Let's see. This is the fun stuff we get to walk through all the time. Yeah, this is right wonderful. We took two different trails. I, I kind of stayed low. And... Oh, look at that. Uh, is that a deco one? Yeah. Just sitting there on the freaking sandbar. Oh, it's perfect. No damage. No damage. Look at the stars on it. Uh huh. I see. So you can see it says Soda Water Bottling Company. And on the bottom it says Jasper, Alabama. That's pretty neat. That's a win, man. Heck yeah. And we walked a lot to get it. But if there's one here, there's probably more. Right here under this leaf. Got a big old slick. Oh. Got the top chipped. We're in a separate small creek now. So gonna see if anything comes out down this way. Well, Brandon has found a soda. The oh, top it's is whole. Oh, it's Coca-Cola. Bourbon uh, Company. Birmingham. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shoulder script. Shoulder script, straight side coke. I mean, this whole, it's we walked past that the first time. How to miss it? I don't know. This is how it works, man. We'll take it. That's what we said we didn't want to find. We wanted to find another town, but we can't seem to get away from Birmingham. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh man, I'd kill to find a straight side coke. Well, we find a good bit of these, but still. Pretty neat find, I'll I guess. Take it. I'll take it. Pre 1915, over 100 years old. There we go, guys. Big insulator right here. Let's see. It's a Heming Ray. It's got a little bit of chip right there. It's an older one, though. They seem to congregate where the bottles do, so I'm not surprised. All right. So it's finally my turn to find a bottle that's whole, that's a soda, and it's sitting right there. Square soda water that's whole, and it's got no town. No town, really? It's all right. I'll take it, I guess. Yeah. Wish I would have had a town, but still cool deco little bottle to find from the early 20s. So, guys, here's the one find of the day that I have on me right now. The other ones that you've seen in this video are in the process of being cleaned through tumbling, which is actually a fairly interesting process in and of itself that I might do a few videos on. I know you've seen Brandon do some with his machine. I actually have a separate one that I bought a while back that works fairly well and is set up in a different manner than his, uh, as well as two others that work side by side so I can get multiple bottles done at one time and usually you can do two to three bottles on each machine so those like I said are in the process of being cleaned here's this one it's probably the oldest of the day um, being 1890s to 1900-ish somewhere in there uh, this like I said in the video is a Richard and Thalheimer from Selma it's a clear variant um, it is actually made by the Dixie Glass Company, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on video. <clears throat> that glass company was out of Georgia, uh, and I think they sold out in 1910-ish. And people who are from the South enjoy seeing the word Dixie on things, so some people strictly collect glass because of that marking. Um, that's a whole separate subcategory, but this is a pretty neat little bottle in general. These guys, I found articles on them um, in newspapers saying that they actually bottled beer and whiskey. Um, there are several different variants on this particular bottle, all being hutches. There are no crown tops known from this company as far as I know. Um, there are a few separate whiskey fifths, I think, so they kind of look like Jack Daniels bottles, but it would say uh, maybe Richard and Thalheimer on them without the bottlers in the middle like this one does. Um, there's also a hutch that I believe is from the same Richard that just says R. Richard on it. And there are several different variants of this one. This one's actually an earlier bottle uh, than the Richard and Thalheimer that I'm holding. And lastly, even though I've said these are quite common... A lot of these hutches are not turning up anymore, um, so they're getting more scarce to find. They're in collections. You just don't find them out in the wild as much. There is a rare variant on this one, though, and Richard in this bottle is correctly spelled. There is one, however, that is spelled R-I-C-H-R-D, 
with no A, and that is quite a tough one to find. Um, but anyway, I figured I would do a little wrap-up video on this video with this bottle, um, kind of give you a, a spiel on some different variants and different ways to clean them, and uh, some different areas of collecting on these bottles. But anyway, if you liked the video, which I hope you did, subscribe, like, and tune back in next week for the next video.